Hey everybody. I'm sure some of you might have wondered how did video cameras work back in the old days when we had CMOS sensors and stuff like that. And I'm sure this is probably more for the younger audience because people who have been into technology for many decades are probably well familiar with how older stuff worked. But here we have this old GBC CCTV video camera used to be a security camera I'd say this is probably from the 80's that's what the front looks like you have your typical lens assembly you have that, that kind of stuff and here's where you can focus it and whatnot. but what we're here to see is what's inside this thing Which, to clue you, I've, I've actually opened this thing up before, so I already know what's in there. There's a, flat, a good flathead screwdriver. Pretty decent sized one. have a look inside this thing. There's what you have inside of it. Lots and lots of through hole electronics and a CRT video camera tube. This is built kind of similar to that of let's say an old CRT television. You have your tube and stuff like that. Now, if I were to supplement this, I will pull up the art, the uh, Wikipedia article that talks about these kinds of video camera tubes. Which, of course, if you want to look this up yourself, it's right there. So essentially it's called a video camera tube and it's based off a of CRT. And they were used to capture television images prior to the introduction of CCDs in the 1980s. So this thing is definitely from the 80s or older. I always think it's pretty cool to have a look at older through hole electronics like this. You know what's really cool about this thing is it actually <clears throat> on the PCB it tells you what all the different stuff does. Essentially what all the different parts of the board do now they um, they just had to freaking put this code over the top of it here but right there it says video amplifier and you can see there's a pot there we can probably make adjustments this is probably where they would adjust this in the factory when they're fine tuning the thing there's a sink generator Scrape some of this glue off this capacitor here. I can, we can read what this under section is for. Yeah, you know, we had this ginormous 35 volt thousand microfarad capacitor glued down to the uh, PCB, and when they glued it down, it uh, kind of covered up some of the uh, silt screening of the board. I can guess that right there says heater deflection. Yeah, 
And here we have high voltage power supply. So yeah, these things can carry lethal voltage. So you gotta be careful with them. This thing has been powered off for many, many years. So it's likely just fine. But yeah, you do, you do want to play it safe with these things. See, we're kind of reading it upside down now, but right here it says video processor. That right there probably has something to do with that. Got a little integrated circuit there. I'll flip it back around for easier reading. Lots of through hole goodness on this thing. Through hole resistors, through hole transistors, capacitors. <laughs> Dip socketed integrated circuits. Lots of potentiometers for making fine tuning adjustments to this thing. Can't be certain on this, but I think this may have been a, uh, a black and white uh, video camera. Although I do see uh, blue, yellow, green right there on the uh, lower right corner of your screen there. So this, this this could have been color, but um, I'm willing to bet a good chance it was probably black and white. But yeah, pretty neat, isn't it? In case you're wondering, this is why many video cameras from the '80s were so like um, you know the camp the um, consumer camcorders were so big. You know, for for one, many of them recorded the VCR tapes, but also they had these giant CRT uh, video camera tubes in them. And this ain't my first time cracking open something like this. I I did crack open something similar to this many years ago on the channel, and shared it with you, and it had a, a similar kind of picture tube in it, or a video camera tube. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the little tour of this piece of vintage equipment. Thanks for watching. Well, guys, that's it for this one. But it doesn't have to be. There's plenty more videos on the channel to check out. Also, if you liked the video, please click the like button. And if you absolutely hated it, there is the alternative button as well. But yeah, please subscribe to the channel. I definitely appreciate it. And remember to click the bell so that we get notified of all updates. Also, if you're interested in things aside from computers and technology, check out my second channel. It's CubeComp MTDX. Over there you'll find videos about weather, elevators, bicycling, and pretty much whatever else I figure out to upload. So yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And thank you for your support.